Howdy everyone, howdy Dr. Eklimen and my classmate in Statistics 63. Today I would like to resume my findings as well as some discoveries for my semester project and the title of my project today is Detergent Sales Investigation. First, as an overview of the project, I will talk about a background project that includes the objective of the project as well as the data source for my project. I will then continue with the project description that includes the independent variables as well as the response variable and the, and the methodology and the approaches to my project. I will then discuss the result of the analysis that talk about the Poisson distribution of the data sets and, uh, and the result from fitting the model for two attempts. Attempt one is without the over dispersion problem and attempt two takes the over dispersion problem to account. And then I would uh, finally conclude the presentation. First, this project objectives include to examine the current issue in sales and marketing, specifically in the, in the industry of detergent, to study the effect of promotion and price on the sales obtained, to apply statistical methods to the fields of interest, specifically to apply the generalized linear mix model with a random effect. The data source is from the, a professor of marketing from Mace Business School, Professor Ram Kumar Janakurman who is an assistant professor of Mace Business School Department of Mar Marketing and he specializes in quantitative marketing as well as modeling. So he has a lot of data sets that he uses for his research and he's provided me with uh, one of his detergent data sets for my project. As a project description, I identify my problem of interest as the detergent sales data in order to study the effects of promotion and price on the sales of the detergent. And certainly, the response variable in this case is the number of detergent cells. And because the detergent cells are recorded by packages of detergents that are sold through a number of weeks, so this, these data are discrete and could be considered Poisson distribution. Among the independent variables, there are brands. And in the independent variables of brands, I have Tide, Whisk, Error, and Surf. And these four brands are randomly chosen among the brands of detergent within the nation. So these can be considered a random effect for the model. Um, the second variable is the promotion. And I have two levels of, of this factor. Uh, I coded the presence of the promotion as one and the lack of promotion as zero. And because these are the only types of promotion that we're investigating, so this is a fixed effect. And then I have a column for the price which is a continuous variable, so it can be considered covariate in this model. The method I'm using in this, um, in this project to, to determine the effect of, uh, of brands and promotion and price on the sales is the, uh, the generalized linear mix model, and I'm using the prop mix in SAS software for the price and distribution. So here, in the model specification, I have the log, because of the poison distribution, I have the, uh, the log of the mu of the turn cells over the gamma equals the, in the intercept plus the fixed effect plus the random effect with the covariate price and the random error term. Here's how the data set looks. I have 56 observations in the data set, 14 observations for each of the four brands, type with scare and serve. And I have, uh, in, in each brand, I have 14 observations. Seven observations are for the, cam the, the promotion campaign, um, the campaign without the promotion. And seven observations for the campaign with the promotion. And then the covariate, covariate variable here is price with continuous variable. And then the sales figure for the, the number of detergents sold. First, um, in the first part of a project, I examined the Poisson distribution, so I used the, pro, uh, the univariate procedure. I specified the data as cells for the data set of the turn cells. I specified the variables as cells. I asked for the histogram and the probability plot, and then I ran the coding. And according to the results obtained, there are 56 observations. The variance is a lot larger and greater than the mean. So there is a potential for over dispersion problem. And the skewness indicated by the, uh, by the result output is positive, indicating that the, um, the data is rightly scooped. And then 
looking at the location test for Poisson distribution, I could see that the p-values is very small, a lot less than 0 0.0001. So I reject the null. The null is that the data is not for a Poisson distribution, and I reject the null. So Poisson distribution in this case is significant. And I also did uh, examine the goodness fit test for normality. And the null in this case is that the data is from normality distribution. And the p-value is less than 0 0.01, so I reject the null. So I could, I could conclude that the data is not from normality distribution, and instead of from Poisson distribution, and the Poisson distribution is significant. This is the distribution graph for the univariate procedure output. And we could see that in this graph, the data are not very symmetric and is more skewed to the right. So we could see the poison, the poison distribution in this case. As well as the probability plot for the cells, we could see that this curve here indicates the poison distribution and there's, there's the potential for the outliers as well as the over dispersion problem. We could see from, from these um, observations over here. Now, in order to fit uh, the generalized linear mix model, there are two attempts to fit the Poisson distribution. In attempt number one, I neglect the over dispersion problem. So I indicate the, uh, the procedure coding as the, pr uh, the limits procedure that I have data as cells, the classification uh, variables at brand and promotion be because these, these variables are categorical. And the model statement includes the cells equal to promotion and price. And I have the fixed effects in the model statement and the covariate in the model statement. I ask for the distribution as Poisson and I ask for the link function because the Poisson distribution requires the log and I ask for the solution. In a random statement, I include the brand because uh, the brand is a random effect and then I ask for the output with the prediction as well as the pierce prediction and I ran the procedure. And after running the procedure, the result output I, that in, indicated here, among the result output, we could see that the effect of promotion and price are significant. And, and, we, uh, and, from, and from the solution for the fixed effect model, we could see that the estimated parameter for the promotion zero and uh, promotion zero and promotion one, and we could see the, pro the parameter for the price so from these estimations, I the model specification for the campaign without the promotion. So this is without the promotion. As log of mu of cells over gamma equals 5.5. And this number is the sum of these two numbers. Because we have the intercept and we have the promotion fact. Minus 0 0.3 times price plus the random error term. And minus 0 0.3085 is from the estimated for covariate price that we have over here. And then uh, because the uh, the brand effect is a random effect, so I uh, we receive the brand to brand variation over here in the covariance parameter estimates as 0 0.0.797921. 0 and then as mentioned before, the effects of promotion and price are significant because the p-value is very small in this case. In attempt number two, I took over this written problem into account and, and the coding for the procedure in the SAS software is pretty much the same as the, pro the procedure in a attempt number one, except that I ask for, I include the random, uh, a random statement with the, ra the, residual, uh, ver um, the residual variation in this coding. All other, all other statements are pretty much the same. I asked for the output as well as the peers and predictions. And then I ran, I ran the model. And this, this coding takes the over distributed problem to consideration. The output that shows here is a little bit different from the output that was shown in attempt number one. In this case, the, uh, the effects of promotion and price are less, a lot less significant because we can see the, the p-value for the effect of promotion and price here are a lot larger than the p-values that we receive from attempt number, two, number one. Um, this is the effect for the promotion and price that we have um, we have over here. Also, for 
for the estimation of the parameter for promotion price, we can specify the model of fit for promotion promotion without the campaign. We have the log of the mean of the sales of, uh, of the detergent over the gamma equal 5.5734 and this number is the sum of these two numbers because we have the intercept and we have the effect of promotion which is a fixed effect categorical uh, minus 0 0.3085 because um, uh, because we have covariate the price over here times price and then we have the random error term uh, the difference the difference in this case from attempt number one is that we have the brand to brand variation indicated in the covariance parameter estimates model over here and we also have the residual residual uh, variation we have the brand to brand variation as 0 0.7807 and we have the residual vari variation um, variation as 1 131.734 and this number is rather lar rather large that indicates the potential for over this first problem as well as, the, as well as the outliers in the data sets. And then as mentioned above, the effects of promotion and price are a lot less significant and is, in this case if we are 95% confident we can see that promotion and price and price are no longer significant in this case. In conclusion, there is an over furniture problem present in, in the data. And this over furniture problem could possibly could possibly be due to the seasonality of the product sales because the data are recorded specifically from week to week. And also, if we take into account the seasonality that could cause over distribution problem, we could see that the fixed effects at the promotion and price become less significant because the random, you know, the random error and the residual play a more a more important role in this case. And with that, I would like to make some implication for the general deterrent sales issues in the country. First, the higher price may lead to a decrease in sales, as we can, we could see from attempts from attempt number one, which didn't take a very disparate problem into consideration. The presence of promotion could offset, and in this case, it could compensate for a decrease in sales due to a, an increase in prices. And as mentioned before, the seasonality is an important factor in the sales. And with that, I would like to conclude my presentation for the project, and thank you for listening.